Hi there. Now in the previous part of this question, we were given that y equals some function of x, and we were told the first differential f dash of x was equal to 3x to the power half plus 3x to the power minus a half minus 10. And we were asked to use the substitution u equals x to the half to find the values of x which gave y equals f of x stationary points. And we found out the answer to that was that x equals 1 ninth or x equals 9. Now for the second part, we're asked to find the second differential of f of x and hence or otherwise determine the nature of each stationary point for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So for the second part then, we need to first of all find the second differential of f of x. Because once we've got this, we can test out the nature of the stationary points by substituting our values of x, 1 ninth and 9 respectively, into f double dash of x. And if it comes out as a positive value, then it's a minimum. And if it comes out as a negative value, it's a maximum. So to differentiate f of x twice over, we take f dash of x and we differentiate that with respect to x. So taking 3x to the power half, first of all, differentiating that in the normal way, that's going to be 3 times a half. That's going to be 3 over 2 then and we reduce the power on x by 1. So that's going to drop down to minus a half. For the next term, it'll be 3 times minus a half, which will be minus 3 over 2. And again, reduce the power by 1. So it's going to be now to the power minus 1 and a half, which is better written as minus 3 over 2. Differentiating the constant here, well, that goes to 0. So what I want to do next is just tidy this up, especially when you get negative powers. So for this one, that's going to be 1 over x to the power half multiplied by 3 over 2. So it's just going to give us 3 divided by 2x to the power half. And similarly, with this last term, it's going to be minus 3 divided by 2 over x to the power 3 over 2. So Let's just test out now what we get when x equals 1 ninth. So we just need to do f double dash of 1 ninth. So if we substitute that into our equation here, we end up with 3 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 ninth to the power half and then minus 3 all over 2 multiplied by 1 ninth to the power 3 over 2. So cleaning this up, 1 ninth to the half, the square root of 1 ninth, we take the positive value here and that is 1 third. So we end up with 3 divided by 2 thirds, which comes out at 9 over 2. So you've got 9 over 2 there. And then for this term here, minus, we've got the square root of 1 ninth, which is a third, and then we cube it, so that's 1 27th, times over 2, you get 2 27ths, then divide it into the 3, and you end up with 81 over 2. And what this comes to is minus 36 which is negative value, less than 0. So therefore, what we have is a maximum, OK? A maximum then at x equals 1 ninth. Next, we need to look at what happens when x equals 9. So when x equals 9, we just need to work out f double dash of 9. And similarly, it's going to be 3, then divided by 2 times 9 to the power half, the square root of 9, minus 3, 
divided by 2 times 9 to the power 3 over 2. And if you work this one out, you'll find that you get, for the first term, a half. And for the second term here, it'll be 1 18th, which gives us 4 ninths. And 4 ninths is a positive value. It's greater than 0. So therefore, what we've got is a minimum then, OK, at x equals 9. All right?